our demonstration on how to create an S-curve in MS Excel. So before we demonstrate how to create an S-curve, maybe it would be best to describe what an S-curve is for those who are not familiar what an S-curve is for in place. So an S-curve is a very common project management tool wherein it's used to check or to depict the utilization or the usage of certain quantities like work hours or man hours or costs over a period of time. As you could see here in our example, if I am going to analyze this S-curve, what it is telling me is that this project will last for 9 weeks and the cost will start of course being utilized on week 1 with a very low utilization only at 0.71%. But as we go along, throughout the duration of the project, the cost is being utilized like by week 2, 1.43 of the budget or the cost is now being used. Week 3, it's already going up around 15.71 and so on. And you will see that the project will eventually start using a big amount of its cost or budget around week 4. And then by week 7, we've already utilized around 90% of our budget. By week 8 and week 9, of course, 100% of your budget should have been utilized. So it somehow tells me how fast or how gradual costs or in other S-curves, maybe man hours are being used by the project. If we create a, a very steep S-curve, what it means is that the cost or the man hours are being used immediately or very fast. That's why the S-curve is very steep. This one is a very gradual, very uh, well-distributed S-curve and it usually tells the project manager how the budget is being allocated over a period of time. Now, programs like MS Project or other software used for project, project management can already create S-curves, but sometimes we don't have those programs, so we are limited to probably a worksheet tool that can create graphs and that is what we are going to discuss how to make an S-curve in MS Excel a very widely used program for creating charts step of your creation of S-curve is of course create the different stages or different phases of your project so here I already have a created table wherein it's divided into five stages so we have the planning stage, the acquisition stage, and assembly, manufacturing, delivery. And this is my projection of how the cost will be utilized on each of the stages. So this is up to the project manager on how he or she will plot the total costs of the project on each stage. And then the next thing that you need is a start and an end column wherein it tells you the duration of the stages and then this optional duration column though not really needed but it will help in plotting your S-curve later on. Now the first step in our S-curve is to get the total cost and that is by adding all those costs per stage. So it's done by using a simple function and this tells me that the total cost for the project is 7 million. Now the next thing is I want to check the percentage that each stage will consume from the budget or the total cost. So I will say that this is the percentage weight probably and I will calculate it such that I will get the cost for that stage divided by the total cost of the project and then I will 
make the denominator or the 700 or 7 million absolute by using F4 or by manually putting dollar signs leaving the numerator as a relative cell no need to lock I will format it as percentage and maybe increase the decimal and then I will drag this one or click it in order to see how much percentage of the budget is going to be used by each stage of the project. The next part of our S-curve is to plot the weight according to the week. So I'll start by putting here week 1 and then drag your header until week 9 because that's the last week of our project. And then next is I'm going to plot the percentage that the weight is going to be distributed among those weeks. So for example, this stage is plotted for week 1 until week 2. So what I will do is I will start at week 1, get the weight for this stage, and divide it by the duration. Okay, and then I will lock the columns so that if I plot it, it will not move. So I will be manually locking column C and column F, enter. And that means that by week 1, 0.71% of the budget should have been utilized. And that should be the same with the second week. And as you could see here, what happened is that the weight 1.43 has been distributed evenly between week 1 and week 2. Because that is the weeks that this stage is expected to happen. Now I have to do the same for the other stages. So for example here, we have week 3 to week 5. So I will plot starting from here, week 3. And that would mean, or that would be the weight divided by the duration, which is three weeks. Again, I will lock the column letters so that when I drag it later on, it will not move to another column. So I will drag it until week five. And that means that evenly, it will be 14.29% of the budget will be used by week 3, week 4, and week 5 for the acquisition stage. Now I will do the same for the rest. So let me do this. So weight divided by the duration. This one is for week 4 to week 6. Right? This one is for week 5 to week 8. So this divided by 4 weeks. So I will again put dollar signs. This one is from week 5 to week 8. Next is just one week, week 9. So that means I don't have to do anything but just simply get that amount, that percentage for week 9. I want to check the percentage completed or the percentage utilized per week. So as you could see, some of the stages of the project will overlap. So we want to get the sum or get the total for each of the week. So that is done by using a sum of each of the week. And then I will drag it until the right side. Your clue that you got this correct is that when you sum all those percentages you should get a hundred percent because remember that this are simply a distributed percentage of the overall costs for each of the stages. So when you add them back together 
they should result into 100%. Now, finally, we will get the cumulative percentage. For the first one, we are going to just get the first amount. And then, for the next week, we will get the previous percentage, add the percentage that will be used for that week. And then drag it until the last week. And you know that you are correct if by the last cell, you will also get 100%. Because again, this is simply a distributed percentage of a hundred of a whole so you will get a hundred percent at the end and now we are actually ready to plot our s curve so the s curve is actually this line over here so i could drag or i could highlight the cumulative percentage insert line chart and our curve is now created. And we have to do some modifications, like Excel will somehow exceed the 100%. So you just have to right click on it, on the axis, format axis, make the maximum as one. One is 100%. If you want to change the interval or the graduation, then maybe instead of 0.1, change it to 0.2 or something. It's up to you. And then we also want to get the labels for the axis below. So I could simply right click on it, select data, and then here, we have to edit the horizontal axis labels. Click edit. And it's asking you where the labels are. It's going to be this, week 1 to week 9. As you could see, it's already reflecting correctly at the background of the dialog box. Click OK. Click OK. And now, we're done with our cost distribution or whatever you want to name your S curve and there you have it your S curve is now completed